Hello, uh, welcome to Rockbase. Uh, this video, we're just going to quickly show you how to install the theme uh, and then some quick tips on customizing it. So once you've downloaded the theme zip file, uh, don't unzip it, leave it as a zip archive. You're going to go to Appearance, Themes, Add New Theme, Upload Theme, and then you're going to navigate to wherever you uh, download the theme. We're going to select it, click Upload, Install Now. All right, once it's installed, we want to make sure that we activate it. And now we can see that Rockbase is active. Uh, the next thing we want to do to make sure that we get updates is go to Settings and then Rockbase. Uh, and then you're going to put in your license key. Your license key is your email address that you use to sign up with. Uh, this keeps it really easy and simple and allows you to quickly add your license key without having to think about it too much. And then every time that there is an update to Rockbase, it'll uh, be available in your WordPress dashboard. Um, so once you have your uh, license key active, uh, we're gonna customize the colors real quick. So that's probably the first thing you wanna do is make it yours, right? That's one of the best parts about all this. Uh, so go to Appearance, Editor, and we're gonna click on Styles. And we have all these default styles that you can choose from uh, that are included with the theme uh, as a good starting point. So if you find one that you like, they have some different fonts that get loaded. Uh, they have different color schemes attached to them. Uh, so if you find one that's close to your brand, it might be a good starting point. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to stick with the default. And then we'll click on Edit Styles. And what we can do is we can come in here. I'm only going to show you colors, but you can also change topography layout, you can also customize the look of blocks, but we'll probably do that in a later video because this could get real long. Uh, so go to colors and we're gonna come up here to palette. And Rockbase ships with 11 different colors. So we have primary and secondary, and then we have four backgrounds. Uh, background one is what is used for the main background for your site. Two, three, and four just used for different areas of highlighting and just uh, some for some design uh, best practices. And then foreground one is going to be the main color of your text. Uh, and then two, three, four used uh, for other areas to highlight. And then the last color is tertiary. So uh, just to show you real quick, I'm going to change the primary. If you've been following me for a while, you know green. Green's my color. Uh, if you look to any of my branding, it's all very green. So I'm just going to pick a green uh, that I want to use here. And then for my secondary, I'm going to have like a lighter green. Okay, great. Um, let's change this foreground color uh, and I'm going to make it like a greenish tint to kind of match the rest. I won't touch any of the others right now, but you can customize all of these to kind of match your brand uh, so that this website becomes yours. Uh, then click save and we now have a website that's rocking our brand. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to quickly create a, a landing page so you can get your site up as quickly as possible. Uh, get back to your dashboard of pages. I already created one, but we're just gonna—I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, I'll delete all of these blocks real quick. Delete blocks. All right. So we have our page, and one thing we want to make sure we do is come into page and then template. And uh, by default, the default template will be selected. Um, and what that means is, like this, the page title will show up at the top. What I want to do is I want to remove. Uh, the title. So we go to, and we choose the template no title because I'm going to use one of the hero sections that we have pre-designed. So click on the plus sign, then click on patterns, uh, click on hero, and we're going to select, uh, I'm going to select this one. I always liked it. It's probably one of my favorite patterns we created. Uh, and here we go. I now have this awesome looking hero area uh, ready to go. So I can come in, I can edit all of this text and copy, replace this image and make it mine. Um, once I have that, just last little thing that often gets overlooked, uh, if I wanted this to be my home page, I'll go to settings. You can see it already says front page. I did this earlier, but if you go to settings, reading, uh, then your home page will display. It's, it defaults to this, uh, change it to a static page and then select the page that you just created. And now when I visit the site, I have my awesome hero area already ready to go. Uh, I hope that's helpful. I hope that got you started and up and running with Rockbase really quick. Once you start creating something, share it with us. We'd love to see it. 
and thank you for being here.